Japan, not as bad as some people have been saying, or the box office. So, uh, Pan stars Hugh Jackman, Levi Miller, Gareth Hedlund and Rooney Ma, and is directed by Joe Wright. So, this movie in a nutshell is if you take a beloved movie, which we could call a classic, uh, the sort of movie that has survived the test of time, put a lot of money into producing this movie. Um, we'll call it a prequel because we're exploring relationships of characters we already know but before the movie that we've already seen. Um, as well as that you um, put big name actors in roles that don't suit them, Hugh Jackman, or they are too big for, like Amanda Seyfried. What were they doing with her? She's a big Hollywood actor, whatever some people might be saying. She is a big actor. Um, and she gets two minutes of screen time. I'm not going to include that CGI nonsense. I'll let you discover that when you watch the movie. Um, uh, you cast a 12-year-old-ish male child actor who is whiny, irritating, and ruins your original perception of the character and what they stand for. Um, as well as that, uh, you slap a prophecy on that character. You cast a good-looking female actor who is relatively unknown and is a strong, independent woman, but is a bit meh, a bit bland. You also cast a male actor, in this movie too, who completely butcher the characters that we know. Uh, in this case, one's a villain, one's a villain, a villain in the original movie. Um, as well as that, you chuck in a huge amount of unrealistic, unnecessary CGI, which is completely over the top and loses the tone of the original movie. I, accept, I like CGI. I've seen The Walk. CGI is really, really good and really powerful. But if it just decimates uh, the tone and loses the tone, then no, I don't want it. From my recognition, doing all this and not having a good story or character development is a hugely successful way of making money and producing good movies. Ooh, wait a minute. If I remember correctly, one of the most hated set of movies of all time followed this blueprint. What was it? The Star Wars prequels. Yes, this movie stinks of the Star Wars prequels. Um, and um, I had a similar reaction to when I left the movie and then when I thought about it with my movie knowledge head. Uh, so I went to see Phantom Menace when I... Uh, no, when it came out, I mean. I was three years old. I saw it a couple of years after that, obviously. And I loved it. I sometimes said it was better than the uh, originals, which I know is complete blasphemy. But um, I said that. Uh, but like the prequels, once I looked at the movie, I realised they're not good movies. And Pan is not a good movie. Now, um, like the prequels with Pan, the bulk of the fault lies with the director. I'll come to that later. Now, bit of a disclaimer. I'm sorry if I talk about Star Wars a lot in this movie. Because I feel that uh, Joe Wright made the same mistakes with this movie as George Lucas did with the prequels. Now, that's the description. I'm going to go on to the segment I call What Did I Like About It? Um, and what did I like? Um, I think there is some enjoyment to take out of this movie. It's not the movie I wanted at all, but there is enjoyment to have. Levi Miller, who I've already scorned a little bit, 
uh, who played Pan, isn't too bad. He's relatively believable. The prophecy nonsense I hated. But he did a good job with the character the director tried to create. But this wasn't Pan, not the Pan I remember, not the Pan I wanted. Um, I did enjoy the movie. There are some good moments and there is some enjoyment to have. But unlike what some people have been saying, this is a family movie. I have recommended it to my family. I would never recommend it to a friend. And that's different. Um, and Hugh Jackman and Rooney Ma did have some moments. They were very far and very far between. Yeah. Well, we'll move on from that. Very, very bad English. Um, now, what did I not like about this movie? Um, I'm going to talk about three things. Tone, Blackbeard and Hook. So, Tone. It didn't feel like Peter Pan. It was a lot darker. It was not the movie I wanted. From the trailer, it's kind of the movie I was expecting. And I did find some amount of enjoyment. But it is not the movie I wanted or cared about. Like Fantastic Four. Now, Blackbeard was one of the biggest disappointments for me. Because the Blackbeard they were trying to create was not the black beard I wanted. He was too camp. Uh, most of the time he was too clean. Um, the black beard I want and I remember is a cutthroat pirate who is villainous. He is tactile. He is cunning. He is everything a good villain should be. Like Hook. Yeah. But Hugh Jackman had too much makeup. He didn't look like a cutthroat pirate. And Hugh Jackman tries really hard. He tries to give everything into this character and bring the character to life. But Hugh Jackman should not have been cast as Blackbeard. You cast Hugh Jackman in this movie to give the movie credibility, um, financial support, etc. But not in this role. Now, Hook, who was, other than two other things I'll talk about, in terms of characters, the biggest disappointment. He completely butchered the role. The Hook, I remember, had a British accent. He was sophisticated. He was scheming. He, he should be trying to take over Blackbeard. Blackbeard should be like, no, I don't want this guy around. He is the person who's going to be the next big pirate. Yes, I'm terrified of Pan, but I'm terrified of Hook. That's what should be happening in this movie. And um, But if you take the Hook they were going for, you cast Harrison Ford 20 years ago. He felt like Indiana Jones, like Han Solo, but Gareth Headland butchers it. He's awful. He's like, my name's James Hook. That's an awful impression, but you get the point. Um, but where does the responsibility for this disaster, critically and financially, you can look at the box office for it, figures to see how awful it did um, lie. Uh, in my opinion, it lies with the director. You can see the um, with everything the director tried to do with this movie, even if you didn't like what he was trying to do, none of it hit. Nothing he tried to do, he executed perfectly. If there was, uh, there was not one moment where I went I didn't like what you were trying to do, but you executed it well. If they'd done that, then I would kind of forgive the movie, but they didn't. Um, 
not with Blackbeard, not with Hook, not with Tiger Lily. None of it. Now, no, I do not think casting Tiger Lily as a white actor distracted for me. The Tiger Lily we got was meh. And they could have at least cast an American looking woman. Uh, um, American Indian looking woman. Um, if Rooney Ma had nailed it, if she had knocked it out of the park, I could have understood. But she didn't. Now, the ending. I'm not going to tell you what happens, but I hated it. The way they ended it was wrong for me. It was so much, we're going to create a sequel. No, with the amount of money you made, you are not making a sequel. You cannot end this movie like that. It, everything... So they show you a CGI alligator and hook. Now, the way they deal with that is awful. If you want to talk to me about what they did... Um, message me. Um, now, so to conclude, Pan was a disappointment. I was really looking forward to this movie, but it did not deliver at all. There was enjoyment to be found. I hated the CGI and the tone. Um, anything else I could have forgiven, but those two things, tone and CGI, are just not forgivable. And I'm not seeing this movie again. So I'm going to give this movie a 3 out of 10 rod points. I'll do a later video to explain the point system I'm going to go by. But that's another video. So Pan, what did you think? Comment below and let's have a discussion. Um, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see all you movie fans next time. James Rod signing out.